Hi, Talus here. In this video, I want to know whether how I can use Shinha or whether this is a good character to pull. Let's get to it. First, I need to understand her abilities to know how I can use her, so let's learn it first. Her second constellation gives 15% cryo crit damage. Her fourth constellation will buff her elemental skill effect by 5% and up to 250%. Her sixth constellation will let characters under Icy Quill effect not to use the trigger quota, which means it will be infinite, as long as we only use normal and charged attack. Now, let's check her talents. Aside from dealing cryo damage, her elemental skill will give Icy Quill effect to party members. And this Icy Quill effect will give an additional damage bonus and cryo damage is triggered, which means, there will be no bonus damage for physical or other elemental damage aside from cryo damage. This is in my opinion a big downside of her talents, because then her party composition will be very limited. Her elemental burst will deal AOE cryo damage and create an area that deal cryo damage over time while decreasing opponent's physical and cryo resistance. Again, this talent shows that Shinha is a support character, and that she can only support limited characters. Her passive talent will increase 15% cryo damage for inactive characters within the field created by her elemental burst. Her second passive talent will increase 15% elemental skill and elemental burst damage and Shinha use her short version elemental skill. And increasing 15% damage for normal, charged and plunging attack when Shinha use her long version elemental skill. So, here is a recap. Short version elemental skill. Give additional cryo damage based on Shinha's current attack. Give 15% damage increase for elemental skill and burst damage. While her long version elemental skill. Give additional cryo damage based on Shinha's current attack. Give 15% damage increase for normal, charged and plunging attack. And her elemental burst will. Deal cryo damage. Reduce opponent's physical and cryo resistance. Increase 15% cryo damage. Her normal attack is actually pretty decent, though I won't build her as damage dealer because there are other characters that are more suitable as damage dealer. Since she will give multiple buffs to cryo DPS, she is actually a great support for cryo DPS, but the downside is that she is a poor support for other than cryo characters. As you can see from the tests, she actually increases a decent amount of cryo damage. I think she will be great to be paired with my Aika.
suitable artifacts for her would be 4-piece set of Noblesse Oblige or 2-piece set of Gladiators Finale combined with 2-piece set Shimanawa's Reminiscence. Total attack before buff from weapon is 2994. And total attack after buff from weapon is 3446. Minimum Constellation is Constellation 2. This way, we can take advantage of the buff from Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst pretty often. Because Constellation 1 will enable us to use Elemental Skill twice. While Constellation 2 prolong Elemental Burst to 18 seconds with 20 seconds cooldown. Suggested Crown Talents would be Talent 2 and 3. If you have a Cryo DPS, she will be worth it to pull, though as I said before, Recommended Constellation is Constellation 2, so prepare some Primo Gems. Her role in Spiral Abyss, in my opinion would be great, if we have a decent cryo DPS.